Hi everyone. I want to thank you for joining our webinar today. Be confident your contacts are clean, enriched, and ready to roll. I'm Abby Teleria from Melissa Data, and joining me today is our data quality analyst, Allison Moon. She's going to show us how to use Lisware, Melissa Data's self-service data cleansing tool that cleans, updates, and enriches your contact data easily in the cloud. But before we get started, I want to encourage everyone to submit questions today. You can type those in at any time during our presentation, and towards the end of the webinar, we'll get to those. Um, just so you know, this webinar is being recorded, so if you miss anything or you want to forward to someone, you'll be able to do so because I'll send you a link. All right, we have a lot to cover, so I'm going to get started and hand off the mic to Allison. Allison? Thanks, Abby, for that introduction. Um, again, my name is Allison Moon. Uh, and today we'll be taking a look at our contact data cleansing services within our Listware Online product. Um, so what is Listware Online? Listware Online is an online portal that gives access to some of our popular data cleansing services. It utilizes a system of credits that allows a, a pay to play model. This allows you to pay only for services and data that you want processed and appended. Because Listware Online is accessed through this portal, you can upload and download processed files from virtually anywhere. It also gives you access to our services during our non-business hours. We offer some of our most popular services through Listware Online, including US and Canada contact data cleansing. Through this service, you can verify and standardize contact data elements, such as addresses, names, phones, and emails. You can also check whether contact data elements link or correlate to one another for further analysis of your data validity. For example, you can check to see whether John Doe is associated with the inputted contact information. Data appends and updates are also available, which allow you to append missing addresses, names, phones, and emails. Advanced moved updates can also help you retrieve the latest available address for a contact. So what are some of the benefits to using Listware Online? Our US and Canada contact data cleansing service reference, references about 2.1 billion records of consumer data. We've aggregated many sources in order to back the service and expand the possibilities of filling in the gaps of your contact data. These appends can also help grow your customer base by maximizing your ability to reach out to your customers through multiple channels such as phones and emails. Using the geographic appends, you can also analyze your mar market scope. Utilizing the latitudes and longitudes can give you an overall view of regions to concentrate marketing efforts in or, uh, in or provide region-specific support or, or services. Because Listware Online is an online portal, um, it's easy to drop and retrieve files from virtually anywhere. Uh, in future webinars, uh, we'll discuss Listware Online's other capabilities and nuances, such as national change of address, uh, global address verifications, uh, demographic appends, real-time email validations, and more on the horizon, such as pre-sorting mail. So with that, let's get into a live demo um, of the Listware Online service. <coughs> So how do you get to our Listware Online portal? Um, you simply go to our main web page, melissadata.com. Um, you can click on the Data Quality tab here and head to the Listware page. Um, you'll see a lot of information of where you can consume Listware services. Um, we're today looking at our online service. Um, if you click on the tab here, You'll see some information about what Listware Online can provide to you. Um, if you click on the upload file now, you'll be sent to our Listware Online portal. Um, and this is the main page where you're going to be interfacing with the service. You can see a few links here, which we'll get into in a little bit. Um, but first of all, we want to upload a file. Um, you'd first want to select um, the data quality service that you'd like to um, process your data through. 
Today we're going to be looking at US and Canada con contact data quality. Um, and you can drop your file into um, this feature here, or you can click on the Select a File link to navigate to where your file is located. In this case, I have a sample data file on my desktop. I'm going to drag and drop it over and upload it. Uh, once the file is uploaded, uh, you can have you can see some information about your file, such as the file name, um, the size of the file, um, comma delimiters, and any text qualifiers that help us map out the different columns of your data. Once everything looks correct, you can click on Next, and you'll be sent to the first um, step in order to process your data through the US and Canada contact data quality. Um, first, you check which options you'd like to run your file through. You can see here we have a few options here. We're going to do um, not only the check, which is verifying and standardizing each of the data pieces, but also being able to verify or correlate those pieces to each other, um, update for any moves we've de we detect, uh, append any missing names, any missing addresses, um, append geolocations, as well as append missing phones and emails. You can see here we also have demographic appends that you can enable, um, but we'll save that for another um, webinar in the future. Down here, you're, you'll see some of your sample data uh, from the file that you've uploaded. Um, you basically here want to make sure that all the columns are mapped correctly. You can, drag, you can click on these drag and drop um, drop down columns and see all the available data types that you can map that column to. Once everything is mapped, you can click on Next, where you'll be sent to select the output columns that you'd like to return. We have a few name detail um, columns that you can choose from, also the address information, um, geolocation, phone and email, um, but we also offer detailed address informa information such as the address type, um, the delivery indicator, um, you know, universal time codes. We also have census information that you can enable um, and also we can parse out the address into its separate pieces. So like having the house number in its own column, the street name in its own column. Once you've selected all the columns that you'd like to return, um, click on Next. Um, and then you, in this step, you'll be able to review all the pieces that you've mapped, as well as all the pieces that you've selected for output. Once everything looks correct, um, we'll send in a job name. This has to be a unique job name. Um, so in this case, we'll do Once everything looks correct, um, you can click on Process File. And you'll automatically be sent to the dashboard. So in the dashboard, you'll see our current uh, file being processed. Um, that was pretty quick, but um, once you see the status to be ready, um, that indicates that you're able to um, look over the report as well as um, make the choice of purchasing and downloading the file. Um, also on the dashboard, you can see all your previous um, job files and processes, um, you know, the file size as well as how many records were in that file, whether you've purchased the file or not. Um, if there were any issues while processing the file, you'll see an error message as well. So it's a good indicator of um, kind of keeping a history and tracking previous jobs that you've processed through Listware Online. Now that the file is done, we can click on Report, um, where you'll be sent to a page with all the metadata of your processed file. Down here, you'll see you know, the start and end date of the processed file, as well as some information about you know, how many records, name records we found to be good, how many address records we were found to be good, I'm also bro broken down into how many were found to be bad, um, maybe empty fields, um, however many corrected fields, 
um, and then also, you know, verified moved and appended records. On the right here, you'll see the breakdown of the credit cost. Um, this just shows exactly how we've determined um, how much the file should be charged for. Down here, you'll see a, a, a graph that visually represents the job counts shown on this um, tab. And once the file looks ready to be purchased, you can click on the Purchase button. Um, it, once you agree, click Yes. And now the file is ready to be downloaded. Um, if we click Download, let's take a look at the output file. You can see here we had just a small data set, um, but Here's all of our input data, um, and you can see here we've been able to standardize and verify the addresses, uh, append any missing names, um, append latitude and longitude data. Um, if there were any phone numbers that we could append, we've also been able to append those, as well as emails, uh, and give you back all the columns that we enabled in um, the job. Down here, you'll see all our result codes, um, which you can look at our wiki page to kind of navigate through. Um, and with that, um, that concludes the live demo portion of uh, this webinar. Um, Abby? Thanks so much, Allison. Uh, as she said, we're moving on to the Q&A portion of the webinar. So if you have any questions, please type them in now. Okay, uh, first question, how do you determine the amount of credits to change? Oh, to charge, sorry. <laughs> um, so good question. Um, if you actually go back to our dashboard, you'll see here there is a link on, uh, actually, if you go to the report, um, you'll see a link here that describes, uh, that, that says buy credits. Um, if you click on there, um, you'll be taken to a page where we'll be, we'll show you kind of the breakdown um, of the credit costs. So exactly, you know, which services you access and how many credits that requires. Um, and you can kind of look through and see exactly which actions were taken in order to determine how many credits were, would be, um, cre would be charged from you. Okay, next question. If we don't have a phone number or email address, will Melissa Data provide them? Uh, yes, so the great thing about the US and, Con uh, and Canada Contact Data Quality Service is that you can provide um, an address and a name, and then we'll try and append a missing phone or email if we have it in our reference data. Um, so if you took a look at our output data, you can see there were some cases where we might not have had a phone number um, on input, um, but from the address and the name, we were able to append the missing phone number and email. So you can see here, if we have the phone and email to be appended, they would show up in these columns. What sources do you use to obtain information? Um, we can't really disclose um, all our providers, um, but I will say that it is a large data set. It is multi-sourced, um, and um, some of that information is census data or um, um, like credit information um, from different sources. So um, though we can't really say exactly which sources we use, um, it is pretty compounded into a lot of 
from a lot of different sources. Um, are corrected addresses highlighted in some way in order to easily scan a list? Um, no. So Listware Online um, was made to be very lightweight. So you send us a file, you drop it off, and we give you back the results in the same file format. Um, and so there aren't any color corrections or, or coloring or indicators, um, visual indicators of changed addresses. Um, but what you can look at are these result codes. Um, and you can kind of use Excel or any other pro programmatic way to filter out these result codes and check for any codes that start with an AC. Um, and AC basically indicate, indicates an address change. The, the numeric digits afterwards kind of narrow down exactly which piece was changed. Um, so in this case, an AC01 means that um, part of the address was changed. If you go to um, actually our wiki page, wiki.melissadata.com page, and on the left here, you'll see a link for result codes. Um, and you click on North America Cloud Services um, and go to Personator, you'll see all the codes that are able to be returned with the service. Um, and if you narrow it down, um, we have a list of result codes for each specific address piece and if we've changed or added that or not. OK, um, can you process multiple files uh, at a single time? Uh, yeah, so the great thing about Listware Online is that you, know, you can leave a job um, to continue being processed while uploading a new file. So you can upload as many files as you want um, and wait for all of them to process um, simultaneously. Okay, um, I understand foreign address formats vary from country to country. How do I know which fields to use? Uh, good question. So in this webinar, we actually concentrated on US and Canada contact data quality service. Uh, we do have a global address service in Listware Online that you can access for international uh, foreign addresses. Um, and in those, um, in that service, we provide to you up to eight address lines to use. So you can map in up to eight address lines of your data um, to be able to process. Is the geocode accurate to the rooftop? Uh, yes, um, we do have rooftop geocoding. Um, again, the result code will indicate wh whether we were able to geocode to the rooftop or not. Um, but uh, I believe our percentage for the U.S. is about um, north of 95% of um, coverage for the U.S., so uh, for rooftop coverage. Is there a size limitation for files? Uh, yes, there is. Um, if you go back to the upload page, um, Let's go back there. Uh, you'll see some you know, file types that we support as well as the limitations for each file type. Um, for the text files, we accept um, .text, .dat, .csv, and we also accept Excel files, so .xls and .xlsx. Um, for for the um, text files or the flat files, there is a maximum size of 100 megabytes. Um, for Excel files, we only accept up to 100 records per um, file. Um, so those are the limitations at the moment. OK, here's a good one. Uh, do you need a complete physical address and name to process data? In other words, 
can you find a physical address if we only provide an email address and name? Uh, good question. Um, so the service can provide a missing address or append missing addresses based off of the email and the name. Um, but I will say, you know, the more information that you can give us, the better our chances of narrowing down to your um, specific record. Um, so, you know, you can have 100 John Doe's in the U.S., but in order for us to narrow down exactly the John Doe that you're looking for, we need as much information as we can to get there. Um, so uh, we are able to get the uh, missing address based off of a name and a, an email. Um, yeah. Okay, um, it looks like that's all the time we have right now. Um, if you submitted a question that did not get answered, please contact Allison via email or phone. We're going to pop up her contact info right there. Um, again, thank you so much for attending today's webinar. Um, all of our upcoming webinars are featured on our homepage, uh, melissadata.com. Thank you again, and have a great day. Bye.